well, holy crap, it's uh, finally over. I honestly was starting to think that I would never see the day. Jim Sterling versus Digital Homicide. It's now done. They have, uh, they've ended it finally. If you want to go see all the details over what they released and uh, the announcements and stuff, I'm going to recommend you go check out Sid Alpha's video, because he covers this stuff a lot better than I do, and he's covered every single chapter of this uh, since it started, basically. So go and uh, see his entire video series on it. I would highly recommend it if you're not totally up to speed. If you are, though, and that's the people I'm focusing on right now, what we're going to do here is kind of have an open discussion about the entire thing and the fallout from it and what we can learn from the scenario on both sides and a ton of stuff like that, okay? So as a quick little overview on it, basically over the last year or so, Digital Homicide, a game developer, has been uh, trying to sue Jim Sterling because he uploaded multiple videos and was uh, saying disparaging things about their video games and claiming they were using stolen assets from places like the Unity Store and things like that. And this was going for a long time. They didn't want to let up. It cost them their company. It cost them their position on Steam after they went even further and tried to sue other Steam users, over a hundred of them that were uh, saying disparaging things about their video games, and it seems like James Dormeen, the developer over at Digital Homicide, didn't want to let up. I don't know what's in his head, I don't know the man, I've never met him in my life, so all I can say is it seems like there was a lot of delusion on that side, and um, to be honest, it was kind of scary, because to think that uh, someone with basically no grounds on their side could drag something like this out so far and so long and have such a big impact even though they were not they're not they're not in the right i mean they they absolutely weren't and as a content creator that scares me you know i mean i'm a way smaller channel than jim sterling's of course and i don't believe that say um any sort of del developer like that would ever do anything like that to me but i mean of course sid alpha who I just mentioned earlier, you know, he's been dealing with that lately with Dentola Studios, and they took his uh, channel down. It's been radio silence from them so far, so we don't know what the hell is going on with that. And uh, fortunately, Jim Sterling, among others, have actually um, come to his aid and raised awareness of the issue, so it seems like he's going to come out even better for it. So I got to applaud everyone for that. But still, it concerns me that there are developers out there that I don't know if they are delusional. I don't know if they get that angry. I don't know if they think they're right. They must think they're right. But the fact is, if someone can have that big of an impact on the content that you're creating and uh, claiming things like fair use when they are obviously not in the right on that, and that goes for other companies as well, as large as Nintendo, of course, that's been a huge problem with them over in the past as well. I just think that at this point, there needs to be something done about it, and things like, say, the Where's the Fair Use movement helps for a little bit. It seems like that's died down. Uh, other things like FUPA as well, that's almost become the butt of a joke now, and it's kind of discouraging because, you know, there are people like Sid Alpha, like Jim Sterling, like Total Biscuit, like all these, every, every content creator that is doing any sort of parody, any sort of newsworthy content or anything like that, they feel like there's always a chance that, uh, you know, the next story they cover, whoever they're covering it on, is going to throw a hissy fit, and they could actually affect your channel. That doesn't happen in any other medium, and it's absolutely insane to me. What I'm hoping from this is that uh, other companies that might think about doing anything that's even close to that will second-guess themselves now, because I don't think there has been a single instance of anyone doing this so far and in the long run it benefiting them in any way, shape, or form. And I have no doubt that while this lawsuit was going on, it was a catalyst for some of the other events like, say, uh, Dentola Studios and some of the other nonsense that went on with DMCA claiming over the past year. I would love to see that with uh, the solution to this case, with how all this played out, with neither party getting anywhere with it. They both just have to pay off their own lawyers now, and absolutely nothing was done. 
then maybe these other developers will focus more on honing their craft, focus more on, you know, making a video game rather than caring if Jim Sterling doesn't like it. And believe me, I get it. Criticism is a terrible thing. It sucks to hear all the time, especially if you're not familiar with the person. Say, like, uh, you know, Jim Sterling plays your video game and he calls it a stupid piece of shit. I don't know. How can a video game be stupid? Who even knows? But if you're not familiar with his brand of content or you don't think that that brand of satire is acceptable, which is totally fine, that still doesn't give you the right to take legal action against it because the fact of the matter is that no matter how angry that makes you, that's still completely valid criticism. And again, as a content creator myself, it might not be video games, but hell, I make videos nearly every day at this point, and I get a lot of people telling me that uh, my videos suck, that my opinions are wrong, they're invalid, things like that, but I'm not going to take legal action against these guys, because that is their right to say as to whether or not they're right. That's up to my personal opinion, but I'm sure as hell never going to seek legal counsel over that. And while 99% of content creators in any industry will agree with that and will understand that, there's always going to be these outliers. And when things like the Jim Sterling versus Digital Homicide lawsuit happen, that's when more of it happens and it starts snowballing. So with the outcome of this, I would love to see a general decrease in the amount of stupidity that happens. I would love to see people actually start getting along, and I'd love to see more good stories come out of people criticizing video games and stuff. You might be thinking, like, how does anything good come out of saying your video game sucks? Well, a lot of things, actually. In fact, I can say that on my channel especially, I have never had a negative interaction with a developer. Not that it couldn't happen, not that it's uh, never going to happen, and most likely will, but up until this point, every interaction I've had, even when I've criticized games, I recently um, wrote a very critical review of a game called Mall Empire, and I never insulted the developers in the interview or anything. I just, uh, you know, listed the things that I didn't particularly like about it. They got back to me, and uh, they basically said thanks for all the updates and the opinions and things like that, and we're going to look into some of these issues to try to make it better. And especially with indie developers, 99 times out of 100, that's the response I get. But I'm really hoping that we can start highlighting those and we can slowly decrease and take the power away from the minority of developers that do wish harm on any sort of uh, content creator or uh, aggregation website, whatever it may be. I hope that they decide that it's not worth it to go through with these things because all it does is serve their petty goals rather than an overall goal that working with these same people and being on their good side and everyone getting along could end up benefiting everyone a whole lot more. Is that ever going to happen? I don't know. It's probably going to see a lot of bumps in the road as we keep going here, but I'm hopeful. And I think that uh, everyone has the opportunity to grow. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts and opinions yourself, just leave them in the comments. I'll go through them. I'll read them as per the usual. If you want to continue the discussion, of course, I have my Discord server. Head over there, say hi. I am Patty Jack, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.